My name is Dick Johnson. Uh, I'm a UC graduate, uh, School of Aerospace Engineering, 1973. Well, I've always been fascinated by aircraft. I was much more interested in how they worked than how to operate them. And I really had the opportunity to live my dream with uh, my education here and then my career in uh, the aircraft industry. When I was uh, applying for uh, various colleges, I was actually accepted to uh, several other universities, but what differentiated UC from the other places that I applied was actually the co-op program. I was very interested in working and learning at the same time and making a little money as well. So it was really the co-op program, the cooperative education, that brought me to UC. I was fortunate to be on campus when Neil Armstrong was here. He was a very good instructor, but he also had a lot of life experiences that he could uh, relate his flight testing experience back to what we were learning in school. Yeah, one thing I recall, uh, we were talking about aircraft performance and uh, altitude, ceilings, things like that, and he said that uh, when he was a test pilot, he flew an, an F-104 uh, and he did a zoom climb. It's basically where you, uh, you know, turn on the coals and, and climb as far as you can until uh, you run out of thrust. And he got so high in that airplane, he was up uh, probably above 100,000 feet where there's really no air. And with the little wings on that airplane, the gyroscopic moment on the, uh, from the engine actually put him into a flat spin. So he was doing this and he couldn't recover until he lost enough altitude and got back to where the air was dense that his, uh, his controls worked. And he said that was a defining moment for him and it was also you know, something that, that when you hear from a person like that, that you would never forget. When I was still at Lockheed, I had a, um, a lead engineer who was suddenly transferred into another area. And uh, we happened to be supporting the shop floor uh, in a fatigue test article where if it developed a crack, we would have to, have to fix it. I was really the only one qualified to do that work because as a co-op student, I actually worked on the shop floor. I could read blueprints, I knew what the tools were, I knew the ways of the shop floor and the language that the uh, mechanics spoke, and I just stepped right into that task and ended up leapfrogging a lot of uh, older, more experienced engineers. And that co-op experience put me on the road to uh, really uh, advancing more quickly uh, than I would have otherwise. Obviously I was young and eager and as I would find out many times over later in my career when I had co-ops working for me, there's no more eager uh, employee in the engineering department than a co-op student uh, because everybody wants to learn and they're all uh, you know, they all want to do a very good job and I was no different. In my career I've been very fortunate to be able to work with an amazing team of fellow engineers at Gulfstream and we were able to develop and produce some of the world's most successful uh, business aircraft and I'm very, very proud of that. But one thing I'm even more proud of is uh, the cooperative education program that we set up at Gulfstream to pass on our knowledge and, and the ability to work in industry and have good co-op jobs such that we could essentially grow our own replacements and that's exactly what's happened at Gulfstream. I was elected to the Co-op Hall of Fame and I'm very proud of that because it, uh, it actually recognized me as working to provide opportunities for uh, many students, many UC students I may add. I heard many years ago from a, uh, actually it was an NFL football coach, George Allen. In preparation for future games, he would end up reviewing a lot of game films. And after he retired, he looked back on all of that game film review and uh, he made one observation. He said that every game that he looked at on tape after the fact could, boil, could be boiled down into a half dozen or so key events, key plays. And, and I never forgot that, and now as I look back on my career, my analogy is really the same. There are a half a dozen key events that I can now point to that really shaped my professional life. First one of those was my decision to attend the University of Cincinnati and get involved in uh, aerospace engineering and cooperative education.